Phase two, okay. What is your language street team? And then um, what we got need is your, um, what we got need is your, uh, Lang Kong Jai Li Lang Kong Hai, these are kimono dolls, the Japanese dolls. You can either leave them as it is, or you can mark them eventually as part of the bookmark. So today is bookmark. So these bookmarks are super simple. Maybe we all need it, right? You guys all receive a sheet of paper like that. So it's up to you, okay? Now I totally up to you. So if you follow this one, you measure off. I'll give you the dimension, but you don't have to follow. 我给那个尺寸你,但你不需要一定跟住捉个尺寸,OK?那个idea是一样的,那我这个只是三寸,it's okay? a three inch wide, so you can cut off three inches, make sure it is three inch wide, OK? So I'm gonna go cut it off, wait,你可以用教剪, you can use your scissors, so actually this way is easier, just measure of three inch, OK? So measure of three inch and then cut off three inches. But this is quite wide. So you might not want three inch. If you see that three inches too wide, then go narrower, okay? You got to got a sanction high foot, it's getting that But the reason I do a three inches because there's actually two more bookmarks in the pocket, okay? So for that reason, I want it a little bit wider, okay? Even if I a pocket, when you're reading, uh, you put your bookmark in one page, and when you flip over the other pages, all of a sudden you realize, hey, I want another bookmark. Oh, where's the other bookmark? I don't have any more bookmark. So if you make this, you kind of give yourself two more extra bookmarks so to play with. So this is just an idea. So you don't have to follow it. The idea of a bookmark is super simple. I'm going to cut off three inches. Okay. Uh, sorry, hey, uh, hang on, hang on, you're right, you're right. You know, okay, 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 She's my assistant. She reminds me. <laughs> because I have to flip it up, okay? I have to, you have to have, the length is actually, I'll do a measurement for you. The length is five inch plus another two and a half inch. So it's like a seven inch. This is an eight and a half inch long, okay? So cut off three inch this way, please. So I'm gonna cut off three inch. Okay,就剪了三寸,所以这个是三寸长,I'm before you fold, you want to do a score line, okay? Because it's easier if you score. Before you fold, you do a score line. So my score is roughly like I know that when I fold up, just like my sample here, okay, you have almost half, but you know, top and bottom. So it'd be about like this. So I think if you have to measure, it's about it's about another three inches from the bottom. Okay. So I'm gonna do a three inch score right here. Eileen, after or did um Dr. Sam Chun. The other piece I two and a half inch for the wall. I'm going to put there for tactical of the new jail. And you see, it's a paper, la. Yeah, yeah. It's across like five and a half inch. So yeah. you want Dr. Sam to do it. The other half thing, Pango got two and a half inch. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. But also, uh, don't worry if it's not exact because it's a bookmark, right? 
there's nothing much to fit as long as the two little bookmarks is small enough to fit into it. Okay. So let me do the score first. Let me do a score. So once I score, it's easier to fold. That's all. That's all, the whole idea of the score line. And this one, get a interest, uh, This one I score about three as well. Is it three? Hang on. Yep, I did a three score. This is three inch. This whole thing is that that whole sheet. It should be eight and a half. I'm pretty sure it's eight and a half because I cut it out of eight and a half by eleven. Yep, yep. This entire sheet is is eight and a half. So I kick up a three inch like this if you're facing you, okay. And then that's it. This is done, okay. Your shape is done. Eh, 老师，唔好意思，我想问下，而家你接紧嗰个咧系几多个 inch 啊？几长几阔啦 ？Okay， 呢一就三寸 ，okay。嗱，我打打翻長俾你睇，長又三寸，短又三寸，係啦，三寸上翻嚟 ，OK， 咁呢度咧又係三寸噶啦 ，OK， 哦哦，咁你成條幾多寸㗎？成條啊？成條係八有二分一寸，八有二分一寸啊？呢個係三寸闊，三寸上翻嚟，咁你就係夠噶啦 ，OK？ 呢塊乜嘢？係，咁呢個寸呢就係廿零。嗱，呢個係個板嚟嘅。This is the sample, so I'm just trying to follow it. Actually, the sample is a little bit. 八要八要二分一啊！誒，我加咗八八要二分幾長啊？幾長啊？呢個係八要二分一，你切三寸出嚟。OK， 八要二分一切三寸。嗱，頭先嗰張紙成成張紙係咁噶嘛？ Right. Ah 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 ah. Then, you know, Sam Chun, come to Jin to her. Okay. 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 You have glue stick, you can. If you have glue, you can. You can use this one. This one is called liquid glue. You can. You can glue it on the side. You can glue it on the side. 你就喺呢三個位落膠水 ，OK？ 嗱，唔好落太多，落到有咁有得咁有。如果你係有呢只膠咧，就最好，因為佢個口尖啲啊 ，OK？ 如果你冇嘅時候咧，我點做咧？我就揾支牙籤刮起咗呢啲膠，因為呢啲膠，因為呢你睇個頭好闊 ，right？ 我就揾個牙籤刮起啲膠，就抹上去，就等佢等佢有一啲 ，OK？ I'm gonna Take it off with either a toothpick or something narrow. See glue on it, and then I'm gonna apply the glue around it like that because I want it thin. But because I don't want to take up too much room with the glue, okay? Because I'm making a pocket. So if you if you smear glue all over, then you basically you close off your pocket. Because I want to make a pocket, like this, okay? I want to make three layers of gel, okay? 但係如果你啲你啲膠太闊咧，你整到中間就冇咗個位咧，嗰兩個嘢係落唔到去嘅。Then you won't have a pocket because you do everything down. Okay. So I would use either toothpick or in my case, I just gonna take my take something skinny and I'm gonna smear glue around it. Okay. So that way you you close it. Not this way. Not this way should be the bottom. No 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 no. This is. You see what I'm doing? Yeah, I know, but the glue should be at the bottom, right? You're not closing the edge. You got the sun or something. You do not put glue here. On the bottom. Glue on here. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. This is what I meant. You're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You put glue 
here so that you can have the opening, okay? I have very bright students. So aren't you lucky? <laughs> I know, otherwise- We are your fans. You guys are so, so bright. Because you are, I know you're going to do that because I see that your action is going to the direction. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for telling them that. Otherwise, there would be sealed that up and say, what kind of pocket is this? Closed pocket? It's a closed pocket. It's useless. Okay. So I got blue on it. Okay. And just basically, you just close it so that you have a pocket. Okay, and yeah. thank you very much for reminding me. So this is open, okay? Now see, I, it's not totally glued down because, so you have to you have to let it rest a little bit when you're doing it because I do a demo, so it might start gaping open. So some things are really hard when you do demo, eh? Because it's not the same. Because <laughs> you have to take time for these things to dry too. And by the way, I found the glue that you can use on paper and the paper will not wrinkle. I think I told some of you that follow us with um, doing different crafting. Like liquid glue, I always said, these kind of liquid glue, paper will wrinkle. And the glue stick is a little bit better. It's all, it's all in the moisture level. When you have too much moisture in the glue, in the adhesive, the paper is not going to take it and it will buckle up and wrinkle. So I found uh, a kind of glue that does not wrinkle. It's wrinkle resistant. Okay, so here, I'm going to have to let it rest before. Uh... So the idea is quite simple, ladies. Is I'm pretty sure I give you pieces of origami paper or pattern paper if I've done that. And what you do is you do the pattern on here now. It's just basically you measure a quarter inch on each, sorry, try again. You measure an eighth inch of each side. The perimeter is one eighth of an inch. But the bean has five fancia chun. Okay. So you need to measurement. Whatever you measure, if you say it's three, three, by, I'm talking about the pocket, okay? Three by two, I have three by two and three quarter, okay? Then you cut a piece of pattern paper exactly a quarter inch less than that. Just, am I making myself understood? Okay. If you then when you put it down, you will have a perimeter. And then everything just looks nicer with the perimeter. I don't know why, but it feels that way. So I'm just going to cut a piece of paper. So mine here right now is three inches by three inches. How easy. So I'm going to cut something two and three quarter by two and three quarter. Okay. So if you don't have a cutter, you will have to measure of two and three quarter by two and three quarter. Okay, now it's hard to see because it's white, but there it is. There's your perimeter, okay? If I stick it down, and don't forget you have this thing. So you measure another one the same, a quarter inch, and this time, because you have a little bit of leeway, you can tuck it in a little bit. You can push it in a little bit. You have a nigga to hide a toilet, so you can hold it on that hook, on that hook, so so, and then they see it in the hood. Then you will get the exact effect that you want, just like I think I need to cut it shorter. Mm 
you are tricky. I should have put in the I should have put in the backing paper before I seal it. It's still okay. Okay. They may they may tear yourself before you you glue. You can put down that paper inside so that you don't struggle like I do. Okay, basically you will end up with something like that. You put this paper in first, okay? Don't do what I do because I seal it and then I try to insert the paper. I still can do it, but it'd be a little bit harder because there's the quarter inch is already accounted for. Okay, so stick them on, okay? Now this is the part that, I don't know if you have a tool ladies, is you need to get a hole punch and punch a hole through it, okay? And I know I gave you ribbons, then you just stick a ribbon in, okay? Okay, okay? just okay? You have to measure a little bit. If it's three inches, then you're at the one and a one half inch point. Turn it over and put a pencil mark and do a hole punch so that you'll be in the middle. Okay. Okay. So just building a pocket is very simple. And then you have these two little guys. Okay. The two little guys, whatever paper you have left over, you can even make it smaller if you don't have enough paper. Okay. So what I do is just, I just take any scrap paper I have. Now the people who got this one, this is really, really long, okay? You can actually cut off part of it, okay? If you have a long strip of paper, cut off part of it, they reserve it for this, for the tags. I call them the tags, okay? And you do a pocket the same way. Okay, some of you have these long paper. You gonna be out there and you're holding the zilla, they so you a gum chang book mark, okay? They basically they how you cut. 都上面大約是兩寸半的兩寸就夠了,OK?因為呢個好細,this okay? is a very small one,OK?兩寸就夠了,and okay? then you do the same,you go through the same uh, steps as I do,just fold it up,seal the three sides,oh sorry,and don't forget to,don't forget to mount this one,the the, what do you call it?the decorative paper first,OK?mount okay? it,OK?and okay? leave a quarter inch all around,OK?now okay? I'm watching my time, it's 120 already. So I have to, I want to show you the little doll. So now this one, this one is another one. And you can, the only difference is this is an open like that. This is the kind of bookmark like that. So any strip of paper, if you have a long strip of paper, you fold it in half, okay? And this is so simple. You just fold it in half, mount your, Decorative paper on one thing. And the ribbon that I give to you, stick the ribbon on by wrapping it around it. Okay, and, and that's done. Okay, and that's done. Now these things I gave you, I think, I believe I give everybody a brad, okay? This is really good for, uh, for flowers. So if you, um, if I, did I give you flowers? People, did I give you flowers? I don't think I did. I don't, right? I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I did. Yes, I gave you did. flowers. Yeah, yes, yes, you did. Little plastic bag. Yeah, yeah yes, you All did. Right. Yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah. So these spreads are really for the middle of the flowers. Okay. And and if you have a plain piece of paper like nothing, you can you can make it pretty by putting all these flowers, scatter them all over. And then just stick the bread in only two of the flowers that you have. You don't need a bread in every single flower. Okay. So, so that's it. And the rule of thumb, if there is a rule of thumb in art, is odd number always look better. Okay, odd number. So, you got you um, if you want to decorate a panel, whatever, I always go for odd number. The reason is, that's all. But again, this is an artistic preference, so it's not a rule, it's just a suggestion, okay? Okay, 
，就係、是、單數嘅嘢係多數好睇過雙數，雙數齊七一二四六八十咧就好緊噶啦。OK， now I'm done because I need to move on to the door. <laughs> I apologize. We can address whatever question you have for the bookmark、um, after we finish this because this I want you to follow with me and do it now. Okay. Oh, don't forget、um, the ribbon that I give to you guys. Okay.、Um, let's address the door first, and then the leftover ribbon. We we need this much ribbon for the door. Okay. 我哋需要大约系两寸嘅 ribbon for the door. 所以我俾好多 ribbon 你哋，所以你唔好用曬呢個先。你你做咗公仔，公仔要兩寸，大約兩寸嘅 ribbon。Okay, okay. I gave you guys these ones, right? 我俾咗一個頭同埋一個頸嚟。呢個其實個頭個頸嚟嘅。What do you do is you stick these together. Okay, now I use glue stick. 將呢條頸黐上嗰、那個。那個公仔頭度 ，OK， 其實 ，because it's too light，OK，I，I need to，OK，here，、okay, 嗱，你睇到啦 ，OK， 個圓嘅圓碌碌嗰個，將佢黐條嘢喺上面嘅咁樣 ，OK，OK，now I'm gonna do it。嗰條嘢係咪喺嗰條圈嘅中間啊？黐上去 ，how far，how far into the into the circle？ 啊，你可以擺到有咁高得咁高唔緊要，因為後邊嚟就冇人睇到嘅 ，OK， 你想叫緊 ，OK， 咪間甩咗條頸啊！呢條頸嚟嘅 ，this is the neck of the door. <laughs> so you want it to stick well. So and it's the back side too. Okay, 係佢背係佢背後，所以你黐住佢 ，make sure 佢黐住得㗎啦。因為但係如果佢黐黐高啲嘅，咁你個身啊又短咗啦。唔係啊，唔係啊，因為佢有你睇下呢個成條裙喺度咧。哦 ，OK， 所以唔緊要 ，OK。緊要㗎，你最好黐 edge 黐到佢 to the edge。Okay, it's best that way. Okay, then you have more support. Okay, 黐到上到頂唔緊要，嗰條頸冇人咁長啫 ，right? 但係 anyway， 黐到個頂，等佢實正啲。Okay, okay. Because now you have to dress the door. 你同個公仔著衫啦。Okay. 嗱 ，okay. 咁樣咧 ，you have two pieces of paper identical of you. Okay, and you have a piece of single color. Okay. I've given you all a a pair of、uh, color、uh, same and a and one sheet of contrasting color. So what it is, I'll tell you before I do it, so that you don't get mixed up. This the lining in there use the single color paper, okay? And of course the outer kimono use the、uh, use the the pattern paper, okay? So this paper. Okay, let's do it step by step. It's a six inch by six inch. Everybody has the same, so you don't need to measure. Okay, you just fold it in half, and you use half for now. Okay, so 折一半 because 你而家系用紧一半呢一张系六乘六嘅纸。Okay, 你唔需要你唔需要量噶啦 ，because 个个嗰张纸都系六乘六嘅。Okay, it's standard. Okay, 你折一半。Okay, 如果你有剪剪嘅，你就最好剪咗佢。如果你如果你整得好，點樣好實？你可以搣大小心嚇，唔好唔好搣爛咯。OK， 嚟、like, ，if you want to tear it， be careful， you don't want to break to rip it。But if you have a scissors， just slice it down the middle。OK， so let's divide it into half。OK， 你要 have to excuse me for being， for using the cutter because I need to be fast。OK。So now this is the part you decide. You you imagine like this, just like this doll. Okay, what is the color that you have on hand, and what is the pattern that you have? I think I try quite hard to coordinate for you, because this sheet of paper, if I use this, some people like that red to red, okay, but some people like this, like the lining is different color. So this is totally aesthetic. It is 全部系你中意咩顏色就中意咩顏色嘅，有啲人中意個紅色嘅你配紅色嘅料，但係亦都有啲人中意我中意裏邊黃色，所以隨得你 ，OK。But you just have to decide what you want, OK。The first step is I'm going to have this doll showing yellow lining, OK。So therefore, now don't get confused now, OK。So the doll, now you stuck the the neck to it, OK。Turn it around. 
work with it like that. Now I have to work it upside down to show you. I want my lining to be yellow, okay? That's why I'm showing the red, okay? If you want the red, so you have to, the color that you want is on the underside, okay? 你想要的颜色是在底,因为你跟我着衣服, okay? Because you're dressing it. So put the doll, put it right to the neck. Okay, let me get a piece of paper to show, hang on. Hang on one second. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it like that so that you can see. I'm only putting it so that you can show you can see. Okay, so there, put the doll in the middle. Okay, 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 I mean, sorry, middle. You do like a corner like that. Okay. It's like basically you try to give it a collar, okay? Oops. Yeah, I got my tea, so I got yoga, okay? Okay, there we go. Okay. It is enjoy it, okay? So fold it, okay? Now, when I fold it, you understand I me. Mean, I'm gonna fold it over to make a long thing. Fold this over. So basically, you're dressing the doll. That's what you're doing, okay? Oh. Okay. So the long, the long thing overlap each other. That's right. That's all. Now you might have a little gap. That's okay. We're gonna cover it. Okay. We're gonna cover it with that cummerbund, anyways. But make sure the gap is not too big that you can't cover it. Okay. 你会中间或者会有少少一个一个缺口嘅。Okay. 但唔紧要。Okay. 因为我哋会中间，你知嗰个和服中间 has a has a band. It will cover it. Okay. But this is the inside of the doll. Now, if you're satisfied with that, now is the time you open it up and you put glue in now, okay? So that 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 head will stabilize. So if you're happy, I'm happy with this. So I'm gonna start putting glue on the underside, okay? The underside of the doll. Now don't put any glue on the head, please, okay? Just put it from the neck down. Otherwise you're gonna get pretty messy on the back. We'll put the hair later on, okay? So. Yes, I just want to secure the neck so that it doesn't keep shifting about when I work with the rest of the doll. Okay. Now, put the glue on the head. I want the glue on the head, okay? Don't put the glue on the head, please. The glue on the head is from the neck down, okay? Not the neck up. Okay. And then you can fold it back and then put glue on. I'll put some glue on, on every bit because I know that the inside, the lining is going to be all closed. So I don't need to worry about parts that needs to be exposed yet. So I'm just going to put glue down faster that way. So cross over, cross over, and then do about a third in, and then cover it over, okay? So there, that's the first step. The doll is half dressed. Okay.
Okay, when you're waiting or you're done, take the pattern paper, which is the outer garment, 有花的张纸, okay, 是你的外衫, okay, 将它切开去, again, half, okay, three inches, okay, 你是切三寸, okay, cut it into three inches, why? It's six by six, now it becomes three by six, so you have two pieces, okay? Okay, now we take this, the second, okay. So this is one half, it has pattern, okay? And the other half, you cut that into half so that you have two squares, okay? So that you have two squares. So basically you have one three by six and two pieces of three by three, okay? Okay, now dress this doll now. The way to dress this doll is move it slightly underneath the shoulder. The reason is you want that little collar to show, okay? Every doll you want that, that's how the Japanese is very nice, right? It has a little rim. So you want it, you don't go right up the neck, you go down a little bit, move it down just slightly, position it, okay? And when you fold, you will see that, you see you will have that little bit of a collar, okay? Okay. But don't show too much. <laughs> the reason is you will have a gap too big. On the okay, so so just do that. Follow that. But like I said, not too much, okay? Now, this this the weight is not very tight, okay? You don't want to make it too big. Because when it's too big, the weight will not be able to hold it, okay? If you, if you move too far down and your collar is too thick, you're not going to be able to move close the gap because the gap in the middle is going to be too big for you. That's the problem. Now this part is tricky now because you don't want to fold, but you don't want to fold all the way. Okay. I would fold about two third down. Look at, because I got a kick in the skirt. Okay. I got this open. So I don't want to fold it all the way down. So you work with it a little bit. You work to what you like now. Okay. So basically you go up to about here and you say, okay, I want this, the, the thing to open. So you flip that open like that, okay? You just basically do an angle. That's all. This is actually very simple because it's what the eye see is what you do, okay? And I do the same. I try to cover this side. So excuse me, I need to turn my doll. And you will see that, yeah, the gap in the middle is opening, but it's okay. You will cover it up with that, with that sash. So there we go. There. Okay. It's quite simple, but it's a little bit, okay.
remember I give you, okay, remember you have this piece of plain paper. So now you have a choice, okay? You have this piece of plain paper. You can use, I would just cut like, um, I would just cut a, a band that is thick enough to cover the middle, like I did here. Basically, it's not just for decorative, but to cover up the hole, okay? So you just do a band, oh, but let, let me finish, okay? Let me, uh, let me glue this down first because otherwise, if nothing is glued down, it's really hard to work with. So take your time and glue it down. So I'm gonna open it up. And this time when you glue, watch that, you don't glue the bottom, okay? Just glue up to here, otherwise you're gonna, have, it'd be messy. So just put glue up to where your, your skirts start to split, okay? And wash the neck too. Don't don't put glue too high up. I did that and it was sticky. Now, let's do the, the cummerbund part. I'm going to use this. I'm going to use the yellow so I'm consistent. But again, it's your choice, OK? If you want a, 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 a red sash, whatever, it's up to you what's on your hand, OK? So this one, you just take this sheet. This is, And basically, is you just do a, a very very tight, uh, I would say a quarter inch fold. Like, I'm going up. Oh, okay. A quarter inch. And I'm going to flip it out and do another quarter inch so I have some color. Because I know most of your one color paper has two different colors so that I get something like this. And then So I only did like a fold like this, okay? It's, it's just do three lines. I fold it up so that I get a bit of a, and then I was, I'll, I basically, then I cut it off, okay? One fold is enough. There we go. Now do a little bit measuring. Um, make sure that it can cover your your hole. I guess if you have a hole, it's not that nice. So, so it might be a little bit thicker, okay? If you need to be thicker, then uh, fold the, the, the thing thicker so that you can cover it, okay? Now, another way to do it is, like I said, you use, the, you use a bit of ribbon. Okay, so another way I can do it is this. I can do a fat tumble bun and put a ribbon on top. That's another way. I can do a fat tumble bun. And 
and then you can put a ribbon on top. So it's up to you, okay? You can put a you can put a ribbon on top, okay? And just basically wind it around and tape it down. If you want to be really intricate, you can tie a bow, but my, fig my finger is too fat. You need a little bit of a longer ribbon and you can tie a bow and then put the bow on top, okay? You got it, you have a long one, you can tie a bow and then put the bow on top, okay? You got it, you have a long one, you can tie a bow and then put the bow on top, okay? But so this is the, de the, this is the design part that it's up to you guys. So I'm just gonna put this down so that I can continue working. So I'm gonna just put glue on the back side so this is stabilized. I'll just see that, okay? But you like, you like the point, you like the point, you like the point, you like the point, you like the okay? So this is the part that I leave it to you, to you ladies. <coughs> Except this is really cute as a as a bookmark. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, how soon got to go? Let me turn your lamp. 你還記得有兩張三乘三的OK? Okay? This is the two that we cut into half, the, the, the remaining part of the costume. Fold it into half. Okay, both of them. This is your sleeve. So they have they should be the same, okay? So fold it into half. Fold it into half. Okay. Now put them to okay, put them together so that you don't have to cut twice. Okay, put it together. Okay, this is the part I better be correct because I'm so bad with my so. Think of it like this one. See this little one as my demo. You're gonna put these to get. Whoops. Oh, that's dumb. I forgot to put glue on the other side. Sweet. No oh, glue. Okay. Okay. okay, so basically these two, you go to the back and you angle it. Now this one, you push the angle as far as it can go so that it can hide it. If you have something sticking out, you're gonna cut it off, okay? Now this is basically what, and you wanna dress it so that it looks natural. I mean, that's the whole idea, okay? It's not natural to be sticking out. It's not natural to be too low, but you dress it so that it works this way, okay? And you're pretty happy with the position. Okay, should push it up to the, to the, um, close to the neck, okay? Position it, so you roughly you have something like this. Now you're happy with it. So what I do is, I'm gonna take this set together and I want to have that curve underneath the arm, okay? So this is the open side now. This don't make a mistake like I did. The folded side is on top, okay? So both sides folded side is on top, okay? The open side is on the bottom for the sleeve. And you want a rounded thing like this on both sides. So I'm gonna put them back together and I'm just gonna take my scissors and cut one rounded angle, that's all. Okay. 
so that when I flip them out, they're the same. Okay. Put them up to the neck. Then you glue them. Okay, you glue them. And the way I work with it is I just make sure my back, like, um, it's all hidden. So the back side might be a little messy, but this is my back side. Okay, but I just make sure, and also just do a little bit of proportioning so that your arm is not too long, which looks crazy, but there's a there's a reason for it too because eventually you can fold it. Okay, so it's like somebody putting their arm in front of them. So glue that on. Okay, I have to work with this. Make it stick out a little bit more because you have to fold it, okay? So you you want that. If you get it too tight, once you fold it, it's like you just don't, it doesn't look right. So I push it right to the to the edge and then glue it down. I'm working with on the back side of the door, okay. Now this part, the next part is up to you. You can leave it like that, but if you fold it in together and have that little bit like on the side showing, it's quite cute. Now, if you do this, then you know what happened is this is totally, don't put a bowl in it because you cover it up, okay? So you don't need to embellish that anymore. I think you need to look at the shoulder to see if it's, if the proportion is okay. You have to look at it facing you. So that it looks natural like a person. Okay. So the doll is done, okay? The last bit to put on is the hair, the hair. Okay, get rid of my garbage first. I give you all a piece of black um, tissue paper and it's about a three by three inch, but very rough, okay? I'm gonna cut up a strip, okay? I'll just, 剪一條是夠那個公仔的頭 OK, let me try to show you about, OK, use about You want the doll like to um, You want it to cover about this much of the back OK, so how being hoti OK, so it's about half, they have to go, OK
Okay. When you fold, after you folded it, what you do is you tuck them all behind it, okay? Because we're going to do the banks later on. Okay? And then you would cut it, okay? So just put that piece of tissue paper behind the back of the door, okay? And glue it, glue part way down first. I'll show you because it's hard to explain this because you want it to look natural like a real head. So I'm just going to pin it down so I can work with it. To stick the head on. Now don't trim the hair yet. I think this is the tricky part, okay? Don't trim the hair right away. Um, because once you trim it, you pretty much, you're done. Hang on for one sec. You can fold the hair straight down at the back. Okay, this is the part that you need to work with it. Because in the front, you want to see some hair behind the dress, but look at what hair looks natural. They don't come out like an umbrella. They fall down to the side. So this is a long hair doll, okay? So I get it up to this point, okay? The back would look something like that, okay? I'm not quite done. Then with the rest of your paper that you have, you're gonna cover up a face, okay? Okay, I need to show it to you on a different color paper. There, you can see it. Okay, so I wanna cover it half the face, okay? So after you glue it, everything down, now you start working with the bangs. And basically it's like, Cover half the face and wrap it around. And whatever excess you have in the back, cut it off. Okay. So yeah, so this is the part that you take your time and work it until you're happy with it. And of course, real head do not have angle. So you roll it around the little circle of the head so that it looks natural. <laughs> So you don't have an angle on your hair and you can do that. You can roll it back because it's tissue paper, okay? And you know how Japanese girls, the hair is way low on the face. So the bangs is quite deep, okay? So make sure the hair is quite deep. And after when you totally glue it down, no, I'm not glued down yet, okay? You take a piece of, you take a, a your pair of scissors and just snip, 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 snip to the front so that you have hair, okay? Okay, let me let me do this. I need to stop talking because when I talk, I can't do. Okay, give me 30 seconds. We're 157. So let me let me finish doing this and hopefully it will look decent when I show you. Okay. Believe me, the hair is the worst part. It's funny because the first time I did the hair, the bangs is too short. So I tend to go a little bit longer because if it's too long, the bangs, you can always cut it off. But if it's too high up, then you're done. You have no hair left. And 
one handed, you might find it easier if you can, if the hair would stay on the head for now. So I would glue the, the front right away so that I do not, it does not keep shifting on me. And it's so hard to work with a piece of paper that keeps shifting. I cut off the excess so that's just easier to work with because I know they will all roll back behind the head anyhow. So you don't want too much excess. It's very hard to work with when you have too much stuff. What I do is I cheat because tissue paper are very hard to put glue on. So I use the little bit of excess that I have, put glue on the whole mess of it, and then I stick it down so that they don't run away. It's easier to handle because at the back, you don't care what it looks like. Okay. There's the doll. And for whatever embellishment you like, you can take a piece of this paper or whatever origami paper you have and give a little barrette. You know what a barrette is, right? Give her a barrette. And then you're done. Your doll is done. And um, I'm just going to use this as example. And of course, you, you're going to have different paper. You can mount this doll on. Oh, it needs to be bigger. Okay, it's slightly bigger. And then it's a Japanese um, is a Japanese um, bookmark, okay? There's also different ways you can position these two arms, but once you, you like, once I've do, done it, I, I will stick it down, it's okay. Because you can have one sticking out and have one like that, that works, right? Yeah, so you don't have to have everything even, okay? But it's just, it would, it would make your, the size of the bookmark slightly different. So there you go. There's your Japanese doll and you can make it into a bookmark. Right on, 201. I'm done. Thank you, people. <laughs> Thank you.